in my recent video about the Iberian power outage, and you'll find a link to that below, I stated that it was very important for every power plant to operate at the same frequency, but I didn't do a good job of explaining why. So here, I'm going to try and make that clear. First, it's important to understand that every generator has its voltage that goes up and down like a sine wave. For simplicity, we'll assume we're in Spain, where it should go up and down 50 times a second, or 50 hertz. But what is voltage? It can be thought of like the height of the terrain and the current is like water. So the current wants to flow from high voltage to low voltage. In a healthy grid, the current be should be flowing from generators to substations and from there to places where the electricity is needed. There should be no current flowing from generator to generator. For that to happen, every generator at every moment has to be operating at the same voltage. If not, we'll see currents from one generator to another. If the voltage difference is high, this would drive a lot of current on the grid and that isn't doing anything productive but it would damage the grid by overheating the wires and transformers. So, knowing that, let's imagine what would happen on a grid where there were two generators, one operating at 50 hertz and the other operating at 50.1 hertz, and a substation that serves the city between the two generators. At some moment in time, they both have the same voltage, but after five seconds, one generator would have done 250 cycles and the other 250.5 cycles. So now the voltage at the first generator is at its peak positive voltage and the other generator is at its peak negative voltage and a strong current is going to flow from one generator to the other. But in 1 20th of a second later, the situation is reversed and current is now flowing from the second generator to the first. Immense currents will be sloshing between these two generators. And if there are no controls on the grid, then this would cause fires in the equipment along the line because they aren't rated to handle currents this high. So that's why grid operators shut the grid down rather than allowing the frequencies to get out of control. It's easier to bring it back up if you shut things down before equipment gets damaged. If you're interested in what the Spanish can do to prevent a power outage like this from happening again, I recommend you watch my full video, which is linked to below.